Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In today's episode of The Story of Animals, we're exploring two creatures that live closer to us than we often realize. They scurry through our alleys, they peek out of laboratory cages, and, believe it or not, they've been our companions in both science and myth. That's right, today's topic is White Rats versus Brown Rats. Picture this. You're in a city alleyway at night. A shadow darts across the pavement. It's quick, clever, and brown. That's your classic brown rat, the kind that inspired countless urban legends about giant sewer dwellers. Now swap the alley for a laboratory and that rat suddenly looks, well, cleaner, paler, and strangely polite. That's the white rat. At first glance, you might think they're totally different species, like the difference between a wolf and a poodle. But here's the twist. The white rat isn't its own wild species at all. It's actually a domesticated version of the brown rat. Yes, the same alley scamp turned into a lab darling. Let's start with the brown rat, scientifically known as Ratus Norvegicus. Despite the fancy Latin name, these are the gritty survivors of the animal world. They're built tough, stocky bodies, small ears, blunt snouts. They don't just live in cities, they thrive in them. Basements, subways, sewers, you name it, they've claimed it. Brown rats are the ultimate opportunists. If food can be chewed, gnawed, or stolen, they'll figure out a way. This makes them both notorious pests and brilliant survivors. Their teeth? Razor-sharp chisels that never stop growing, allowing them to chew through wood, plastic, and even concrete. Imagine having dental bills like that. Now let's meet the white rat. It's not a separate species, but rather a special variety of brown rat, bred for science. Centuries of selective breeding turned the rugged alley dweller into a pale, pink-eyed animal we see in labs today. Their fur is usually albino white, though some come in creamy shades. But why breed them in the first place? Because rats, like humans, are mammals with similar body systems. Scientists found them perfect for studying genetics, psychology, and medicine. In fact, if you've ever taken a medicine that works, there's a decent chance a white rat helped test it first. They're like the unsung heroes of modern science. And don't be fooled. Though they may look delicate, white rats are just as smart and curious as their brown ancestors. Some even make affectionate pets, bonding with their owners much like hamsters or guinea pigs. So how do these two compare in personality? Think of the brown rat as the streetwise rogue, always scheming, always looking for the next slice of pizza dropped on the sidewalk. Meanwhile, the white rat is like its cousin who went to college, more trusting of humans, a bit calmer, and surprisingly cooperative. Of course, this difference isn't magic, it's breeding. Brown rats in the wild must stay wary to survive. White rats, raised in safe environments, don't need that level of paranoia. Put the two together, though, and you'll quickly see who's more suspicious of your hand reaching into the cage. Both white and brown rats are incredibly intelligent. They can navigate mazes, recognize patterns, and even show empathy. Studies have shown rats will free a trapped companion, even ignoring treats in the process. That's right, rats have hearts. This intelligence makes them fascinating test subjects and also formidable invaders. Brown rats in cities are known to learn and adapt to traps, poisons, and even human routines. Try outsmarting a rat, and you might just lose. One of the biggest distinctions is, of course, the color. Brown rats are, well, brown, ranging from grayish to reddish hues that help them blend into dirt and shadows. White rats, on the other hand, are albino, meaning they lack pigment. Their pink eyes aren't a fashion statement. 
It's simply blood vessels showing through. Interestingly, this albinism makes them more vulnerable in the wild. A white rat outdoors would be like a glowing neon sign for predators, which explains why you rarely see one in an alley. Nature doesn't hand out high-visibility coats for free. Here's where the story gets truly fascinating. Brown rats and humans have had a complicated love-hate relationship for centuries. They spread disease, steal food, and sometimes show up in places you'd rather not mention. Yet they also became part of folklore and even pets in some cultures. White rats, meanwhile, were welcomed into science. Though their role in laboratories has sparked debates about ethics, there's no denying they've advanced our understanding of biology. From cancer research to neuroscience, white rats have been at the forefront. They're the quiet collaborators behind countless human achievements. So, white rats versus brown rats? Is one better than the other? Not exactly. They're two sides of the same coin. Brown rats are the survivors, the urban gladiators, showing us the raw power of adaptation. White rats are their calmer, more approachable kin, shaping our scientific world and even our medicine cabinets. Together, they remind us of a strange truth. Sometimes the animals we fear most are also the ones we rely on the most. Now it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question 1. What is the main difference between white rats and brown rats? A. They are completely different species. B. White rats are albino varieties of brown rats. C. White rats live only in the wild. D. Brown rats are always bigger than white rats. The correct answer is B. White rats are albino varieties of brown rats. White rats aren't their own species. They're selectively bred brown rats with albinism, making them pale and pink-eyed. Question 2. Why are white rats commonly used in laboratories? A. They're easier to catch than brown rats. B. They have similar biology to humans. C. They live longer than other animals. D. They don't eat much food. The correct answer is B. They have similar biology to humans. White rats are mammals with systems close to ours, making them invaluable for medical and psychological research. Question 3. What unusual trait shows rats can feel empathy? A. They share their food with humans. B. They rescue trapped companions. C. They mimic other animals. D. They can laugh like humans. The correct answer is B. They rescue trapped companions. Studies show rats will free a fellow rat in distress, even ignoring food rewards, proving they have empathy and social awareness. The correct answer is B. They rescue trapped companions. Studies show rats will free a fellow rat in distress, even ignoring food rewards, proving they have empathy and social awareness. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels.